Welcome to Tech Insight, where we show you how to make your workspace work. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Microsoft Teams optimization with Citrix. We'll start a user experience on an endpoint with the Teams client installed natively and without Citrix SD-WAN implemented in the network. Here, user Carl is logged in and his friend Abe wants to set up a call. We'll see Carl answers that call. And then Abe shares a screen with Carl. On the bottom left, he's running a video of Citrix workspace with intelligence. We see a virtual tornado that's not spinning as rapidly as you'd expect, and the graphics aren't that crisp. So Carl's going to go ahead and end that call and investigate the call quality by launching the Microsoft Network Testing Companion. Once the tool is launched, Carl can start the analysis. First, it'll check the connectivity, which basically verifies that the call is able to be established by reaching out to team services online. We'll see that it does that successfully. Now it's investigating the quality and we'll see that it's going to have some high latency because it's being backhauled to the data center rather than being routed directly to the internet. Into the results we see that there's a fair amount of packet loss and high level of latency. Now we'll switch to a endpoint with optimized Teams client running with Citrix s implemented. Here, user Abe is trying to call his friend Bob. Bob goes ahead and accepts that call. And again, Abe is going to share his screen. Then we see the video running on the bottom left. Now we notice that the graphics are very crisp and the tornado is spinning rap as rapidly as you would expect it to. Now we'll see Bob is going to go ahead and end that call, nevertheless, and he's going to check the quality by launching the network testing companion on the endpoint. He's going to go ahead and start the test again, and it'll verify the connectivity by reaching out to the team services online. And this time it's being, again, routed via the SD-WAN overlay network. We'll see the connectivity is good, and then also we'll see the quality is good. And if we look into the results, we'll see negligible loss and minimal latency. Microsoft Teams can be deployed natively on desktops and mobile devices or through the Microsoft and Citrix partnership, the Teams app may be deployed and optimized on Citrix virtualization technology. This includes Citrix virtual apps and desktop service, Citrix virtual apps and desktops on-premises, and Citrix managed desktops. Let's dive into the architecture of Teams optimized for Citrix. On the top of our diagram, we see the data center or cloud tenant where our VDA is hosted. On the bottom, we see our user device running Workspace app. After the user launches Teams, the Teams.exe app authenticates to Office 365. Policies and signaling info is sent to the Teams client. It detects it's running in a VDA and makes API calls to Citrix code embedded in Teams. It then opens the secure connection to the WebSocket service running on the VDA loopback, which sets up TLS termination and user session mapping. It now instantiates a virtual channel by calling the Citrix HDX Browser Redirection Service. The HDX engine then spawns hdxteams.exe on the user device, which is the new WebRTC engine used for Teams. hdxteams.exe and teams.exe now have a two-way virtual channel path and can start processing multimeter requests. And now let's look at the call flow. When a user initiates a call, Teams.exe on the VDA communicates with the team services and an end-to-end -end signaling path is established with the target peer. Teams will ask Teams HDX Teams on the endpoint for a series of supported call parameters such as codexes, which are then relayed via a signaling path to team services and from there to other peers. Now media flows may be established from the user endpoint. The HDX Media Engine supports Internet Connectivity Establishment, or ICE, which is part of the Session Description Protocol, or SDP, along with the Session Traversal Utilities for NAT, or STUN, and Traversal using Relays around NAT, or TURN, for Candidate Discovery and Connection Establishment. Thereafter, Secure Real-Time Transport Protocol, or RTP Media Flows, are established directly between peers or the Relay service. Next, we'll talk about how Citrix SD-WAN facilitates these communication flows. Here we see a remote endpoint 
with a native Teams client that is logged into Teams Online and a branch endpoint with Workspace app. When a branch user launches Teams as a virtual app or within a virtual desktop, it's optimized by the VDA and HCX Teams is launched through Workspace app on the branch endpoint. The Teams presence on the VDA initiates authentication with Teams Online. Then, when the user attempts to call the remote peer, the Teams RTP traffic is routed back through the data center and from there directed to a Teams media relay server via the internet through which a media session is established with the remote endpoint. This backhauling adds latency, which is undesirable to Teams calls, as we've noted through the Microsoft Networking Testing Companion reports. Certix SD-WAN works with Certix virtual apps and desktops to provide enhanced delivery of Teams. It creates virtual paths across all available links and manages optimal delivery of flows in real time. Certix SD-WAN implements Office 365 network connectivity principles by default, which allows each appliance to obtain the latest Office 365 and Teams IP addresses and domain names through a Microsoft API in order to direct Teams networking flows to the nearest Office 365 front door. Here we see a remote endpoint with a native Teams client that is logged into Teams Online and a branch endpoint with Workspace app. A branch user has Teams launched as a virtual app or within a virtual desktop, which is optimized by the VDA, and HDX Teams is launched through the Workspace app on the branch endpoint. And the Teams presence on the VDA has initiated authentication with Teams Online, and the Citrix SDWAN data center instance directed it to the nearest Office 365 front door. Now, when the user attempts to call a remote peer, the Citrix SDWAN branch instance identifies the Teams RTP traffic flow and directs it to the nearest Office 365 front door, where the call is established via media relay server, resulting in minimized latency and better call quality. When the Teams peers are both located on your internet, as we see here, Teams will try to communicate directly, and their RTP flows will be routed via the Citrix SD-WAN overlay network. We'll start our admin experience in Orchestrator, the Citrix cloud service for managing Citrix SD-WAN network centrally. We'll navigate to App and DNS settings, where we'll find an object representing Office 365 network connectivity principles. This is implemented by default in the latest SD-WAN builds. This is the same location where we could create other group objects to do deep packet inspection for thousands of supported app types. And if we navigate to routing, we'll see that group reference tier to steer flows directly to the internet. And we'll see the Office 365 optimized group, which includes teams selected by default to map to the latest IP addresses and domain names obtained through the Microsoft API. Here we could also create other app routing objects and reference that Office 365 group to direct it elsewhere. For example, we could select the Citrix Cloud Direct service if we had that configured. And now we'll go to the reporting section. First, we'll select the site where our VDA is hosted. We'll navigate to real-time firewall connections and we'll retrieve the latest data. Once that's returned, we'll go ahead and filter for Microsoft objects specifically. And then we'll make the application column a bit wider. And we'll see that there's several Teams entries that are part of the instant messaging group. Then if we scroll to the right, we'll see that in the columns representing the destination that we are in fact directing those to the internet. And now we'll navigate to the branch site where our endpoint is located that was running optimized Teams. And when we retrieve the firewall entries, we'll see Microsoft Skype for Business flows and that's because Skype uses the same online servers that Microsoft Teams uses. And also if we navigate to the destination details, we'll see that it's being directed to the internet as we would hope for. So we can see with Citrix virtual apps and desktops optimization of Teams and Citrix SD-WAN performance enhancement of Teams flows, Citrix can provide a great Teams user experience.